Districts are facing a decision across North Mississippi how to deal with overdrawn school lunch accounts. It's been reported Alcorn County will start calling out parents who aren't paying up. WCBI Selena Schaefer finds other districts handle the situation differently. She joins us live in the studio with more. Selena? Joey, the majority of Calhoun County students receive either free or reduced lunches. Superintendent Mike Moore says that staying on top of every child's account balance is key. We're about 80% free and reduced. Our free, our free by itself is probably about 65%. So we're, we're high number in, in free and reduced. Calhoun County School District Superintendent Mike Moore says that administrators came up with a plan early on to avoid overdrafted lunch accounts. In addition to notes being sent home, a student can also overdraft an account up to $8, at which point they are provided an alternate meal. It'll still meet the, F the FDA standards, okay? We'll do that three times. At the end of that three, and we're sending notes home, our cashiers and all are. are our cafeteria personnel will send those notes home each one of those days. At the end of that third day, we turn it over to the principal, and the principal will have the parent come up uh, that particular day and, and pay the remaining balance. A traditional school lunch is a tree of food that consists of a sandwich, some fries, choice of fruit, as well as a vegetable. Now, this costs $2.50, but what happens when that cost isn't paid? Luckily for schools in Calhoun County, they don't have to worry about that. Our cashier here at Bruce Elementary, she monitored the accounts daily, and uh, when we see students' accounts getting getting to the extended amount, we uh, send out charge letter uh, weekly to notify the parents, and they good about getting their kids' account back into active. Bruce Elementary cafeteria manager Camilla Miller says that her staff sends very few notices home. Maybe it varies from like four to eight a week. Moore says there must be communication between faculty and parents. I've heard of districts that have 25 and $30 fees owed to them, and I would just say that I would stay on top of it. I mean, I, I, getting everybody on board, getting the letters out to the parents, and making sure everybody's on the same page. Moore says that he and his staff would never let a child go hungry despite their account balance. There are no plans to change the district's policy. Joey. All right, thanks, Selena.